Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have had a lot of requests over the years for my skincare routine. Um, I think I did show y'all a little bit about it. I don't remember if I was living in New Jersey at the time or not. And I'm not gonna go back through over a thousand videos looking for it. But anyway, I did get a request recently from one of my subscribers and she said, Glenda, your skin looks so young and beautiful and you don't have any wrinkles. How do you keep it so young and beautiful? Well, it's very simple, and I'm just going to show you how. Not only is it simple, but it's also inexpensive. Um, basically, I just start with a bar of soap. <laughs> and whatever soap is on sale is what I buy. This is Dove. I have oil of Olay. I'll just show you as I go along. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to do it here in the living room, and not in the bathroom because the filming would not, the camera would not work well in the bathroom. So I have my, a bowl of water here and a washcloth. Um, like I said, I just wash it with the Dove. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I got me a, a mixing bowl full of hot water. So all I'm gonna do is wet the cloth and then just, you know, soap it up real good with my Dove soap. Oh, I, when I was younger, you know, when you're young in your 20s and 30s, you're always experimenting with all of these different products that they sell on TV. But when you get to be older, you realize that you don't need to be wasting your money on all of that. You just need basic everyday things. So I just rub it really good and... Um, I usually wash it. I don't have on any makeup now, but I will wash my face before using the makeup removal product. And then I, you know, scrub my eyes really good if I do have on makeup. I don't want to get soap in them. Okay, and then I'm just going to rinse the soap off. This ain't as easy as I thought it was going to be with this bowl. How many of y'all have those old um, antique decorative wash bowls in your house? That belonged to your grandma. I wish I still had some of my grandmother's stuff, but I did have a few things of hers, but there was no way I could keep it as many times as I've moved in my life. I had one of her old butter churns for years and years. I, I never made butter in it like she did, but I just would keep some dried flowers or something in it. So I just wash it and usually I don't wear makeup every day, but when I do, then I'm still going to have a, you know, a lot of makeup around my eyes after I wash it. Oh, that feels good. You know, when you're sick and not able to get in the shower, you don't have the strength to take a shower many times. All you really have to do is just drag yourself to the sink and wash your face and your neck with some hot water, and that'll perk you up and make you feel better. So next, um, I usually check to see if I have any stray eyebrows that need to be plucked. I don't know if I can see them. I usually use my little magnifying mirror. It has a suction cup on the end. Um, and it stays on my bathroom mirror. But I'll find one on Amazon and I'll link all of these products in the description box below. So if you want to purchase them from Amazon using my link, I'll receive a small commission. And I appreciate that so much, y'all. But I just, you know, I do get my eyebrows either waxed or threaded about every three months, usually when I go to get my hair cut. Uh, but in between that, I uh, used to only cost $5 to get them threaded, but now since I've gone back after COVID, they've gone up to $7, which is still reasonable because it takes the girl at least a half hour to do it. It's, it's a very complex and weird thing. 
I thought about asking her if I could film it for y'all who've never seen it done before, but um, I was afraid I would be in her way. They, they hold the string through their fingers, and then part of it, they got it some way or another. I guess the tension, they put it in their mouth. So she's over, you know, I'm back like this, and she's over me pulling, flicking my eyebrows out. It's painful, too, <laughs> but it's worth it. I, I absolutely hate having to um, pluck them myself. Okay, so then I use um, eye makeup remover, and I love the All May. It is, um, I like the oil free. I don't like all that oily stuff around my eyes. Then I use the little cotton pads, and I just saturate the little cotton pad. And uh, you won't see any eye makeup on here because you might see some oil from my skin, but I haven't worn makeup in a couple of days, so I just make sure I get all of that off. And it's usually covered in mascara, but you can see there's none on there. But you just, you know, rub it and with this non oily all May product. Oh, and this lasts a long time, probably at least a year or longer. And like I said, it's going to be covered with um, mascara if you have any on from the day. And then I use um, either L'Oreal or Oil of Olay. Um, this is called, this is L'Oreal Hydrofresh Toner. Whichever one is on sale. If, if this is $5.97 and Oil of Olay $6.97, I'll buy this. I like them both the same. So this is just to remove all the the dirt and the rest of the makeup that doesn't come off with the Dove soap. And um, so you just, you know, saturate your cotton pad with it and you just rub it all over your face. Even if you don't have makeup residue on your skin, I still like to do this because it does get rid of all the oil. And it just feels good. It's, it's like an astranger, you know. Just makes you feel good. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I think Mama bought Camay soap. She might have bought palm olive. I never liked the smell of palm olive soap. But that's what I would wash the makeup off. And, you know, back in the 60s, I don't believe we had all of these makeup remover things. I don't remember having it. See, you really don't see anything because there's nothing on there. But, um,. Usually there is. So I'm just going to wait for that to dry a minute, and then I will put on my Oil of Olay. This is the Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Oh, this is the bigger bottle, so... Oh, I can't see nothing. I still haven't gotten used to my prescription glasses. <laughs> These are from Dollar Tree. Oh, uh, this is the 6 ounce. So this is probably about eight ninety seven dollars now. Um, but the four ounce you can still get for about six ninety seven, dollars I think. But I like getting the, the six ounce one. And sometimes Walgreens has um, buy two Olive Olay products and get one free. So I stock up on it whenever they have that sale. So I just put a little dollop in my hand. I don't want to waste it, so that's about it. I guess about the size of a nickel. And then I cover my neck with it first. Oh, and I just love <laughs> putting this on my neck. <laughs> Decolletage. Y'all, I took French in high school, but you would never know it. Oh, Lord, and I French teach. <laughs> Boy. You know, that was when mini skirts were popular in the... 60s, the end of the 1960s, and uh, she was real skinny. She had real short red hair, I mean fiery red hair, and I remember her wearing this green mini skirt. I mean, it was up. You know, you could also almost see her privates. I'm really surprised that they even allowed her to wear that there in Lumberton High School as Southern Baptist as that town is and conservative, but she sure did. I'm, 
I think I took French in the ninth grade. So she, she'd be walking down the hallway in that mini skirt. Of course, we weren't allowed to wear mini skirts. I were, weren't allowed to wear pants either back in the 60s or jeans or anything. You just had to wear a dress or a skirt that came below your knees. So when my Aunt Sybil made all my dresses for me, I had, we had to make sure that they came right at or right below my knees. I wish I could remember that French teacher's name. The only thing I learned to say or write was parlez-vous français. <laughs> it was so stupid. I mean, who would ever, I don't think anybody in Lumberton would ever uh, be in a place where they would even need to speak French. I wish I knew how to speak Spanish. There's so many of my neighbors and so many people that I have come across in my lifetime who speak Spanish, and I would love to be able to communicate with them, but I guess the Spanish teacher wasn't available, so they they hired the French teacher. Now, Phyllis, if you can remember her name, you let me know. Phyllis is my high school friend that watches my channel. So anyway, this is... um. If you want to put this over your eyes, you have to make sure that you get just the active hydrating lotion. Don't get the one with sunscreen in it or it'll burn your eyeballs out of your head. You won't be able to stand it. But I love putting my oil of Olay over my eyes and, and this does not burn at all. Now you just rub it in really good all over your nose and your chin and you can just feel it soaking in. Now for years, I guess 20 years, I used the, the little jar. They have one for daily use. Um, I think it's just called daily moisturizing cream. It's in a little jar, probably about four or five ounces. And then they have one that is for nighttime use and it's a thicker cream. Um, it's very difficult to find that one now. Um, of course, Jill, you know, she watched me use it when she was growing up. So that's what she uses now is the, the daily moisturizing from the little jar and then the one that's a nighttime. And I, I will grab that and buy two or three of them for her for Christmas if I can find them. But I think that they're getting out to, um, I think they're getting ready to phase out the nighttime cream. I'll have to get my subscriber to leave a comment and let me know. One of my subscribers is the product development manager for uh, part, the oil of LA division for Procter & Gamble. So um, that's it. You know, that's, that's all I do to keep my, my skin soft and, and young looking and beautiful and practically wrinkle free. I mean, I do have a, you know, my little crow's feet here, which is normal. So that's it. So I'm going to end this today, and like I said, I will be putting these products in the description right, right below the video. If any of y'all want to order them from Amazon, or you can buy them at, um, like I said, sometimes Walgreens has all of LA products, buy two and get the third one free, or Walmart. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video today. Please give me a thumbs up, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing by hitting that little red button below. I would love to have you join my YouTube family. And y'all just keep on coming back. Bye, guys.